Okay, so um, we're gonna be watching this video. This is when I go and uh, fix my bike lah, basically. And apparently, I didn't know that this video, okay, I didn't know that me fixing my bike will have led to me going somewhere sometime soon. So, that video is, okay, it's a teaser lah. The video is gonna be coming out within the next few weeks I think within next week or two weeks later whether I to see like whether I have time to edit or not lah but uh, I've been slow on uploads because of time and schedule so I'm a bit busy but there will definitely be more content in the next few weeks especially since I'll be going somewhere with my bike yes okay so stay tuned for that and just keep watching ah. so if you're not subscribed go and subscribe remember to subscribe uh, if you don't like, oh, like why lah, why like, why why you never subscribe? But remember to go and subscribe, okay? So that you just get to watch this kind of content lah, and that I have more motivation. No, I'm just joking. So that I have more people watching, and then y'all can share around, and more and more people will get to know about cycling in Singapore lah. I guess. So remember go and share also, and go and like and do whatever nonsense that other people always ask y'all to do on other videos. Do it now. Okay, so today I'm going to be repairing my bike. My bike. I took off everything and I'm gonna um just take the frame away. Uh, wait. Let me look for the car. So I don't have a car today, and I'm just renting a get go for fun, like just to try out. And then after calculating the expenses, wait. Uh, cross the road. Cross the road. After calculating the expenses, I realized that getting a get-go is cheaper than getting a what's that called? And taking a grab because I got a grab bag as well. Because I don't know whether the bike will be fixed um on the day itself, like, or whether it'll be fixed today. And then uh, what else? I got fifty percent off lah. So why not just try it out, right? I've never tried it out before. I've tried Blue SG. I hated it. So let's try get-go. If I can find a lot, I don't even know where's the car, no. Yeah, I found the car. Is that red get go over there? So I managed to fit it in without damaging anything. So let's just close the car. And let's go in. This is gross, but it's okay, whatever. Hey, it's really hot. Okay, now how do I start this? Push to start. I press the brake. Ah, okay. Aircon, max, cause it's too hot. Oh, I got radio eh. Let's go! Okay, so now we are here at uh, the car park lah, basically. And yeah, my bike's at the back. So, uh, hopefully we are able to fix this thing. I don't want to go to like, different bike shops. I was recommended this bike shop um, by TLC from TF Riders. So, hopefully we are able to fix this lah. I don't want to go anywhere else. I'm lazy go with the... I'm lazy go with the... Blowing up. Zero eight. No, no, Okay, yeah, oh, okay, it's closing. We are able to. Um, I contacted the person already, and he knows that I'm coming today. So let's pray he can help me, and at a reasonable price. Otherwise, my bank account is gonna be sad. It's already very sad now. Okay. 
Okay, I'll go and source for the hangar first. Huh? Correct, correct. Yeah. So, uh, this is the screw, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a longer one. Longer, but another strap. Then you can temper it using stuff. Yeah. Don't need to hang your mic. I yesterday thinking already whether need mm -hmm. to hang this one on the wall then buy new one already. Uh, oh, whatever you bring in, uh, got chrome. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, spoil already. Uh. Mm. I think best you change the mic. Correct, correct. Yeah. Don't even take a look or touch uh, based on what you say. Uh. Yeah, correct. Spoil, yeah, yeah. Then you want to go and change the whole thing. That's yeah. why. No point, I think. No point. I mean, this one is not made of paper or plastic. Really. It's still yeah. Hanging, uh. Only in this hanger. Uh. This is the issue, just don't buy Okay, so uh, I managed to get it fixed somehow. So the whole situation is that he said that uh, I needed to get a new derailleur hanger because the derailleur hanger has a hairline crack. And he, I mean, well, he's, he's really doing a solid job. Like he has the, the smallest like attention for detail and everything. I'm planning to come back to him again. Uh, I'll recommend, I'll put his Facebook link at the bottom below and I'll recommend him to a lot of people like, from now on because it's really quite solid. If you are interested, just go and check him out. But do note that he's a one guy, he's like one man doing the entire um, repairs like, in the entire shop. So if you're going to do major things like, uh, what's that, full servicing and stuff, it maybe might take a few days. Uh, I've, from what I see, he does like in his shop, right? He has like CNC milling machines and all that. So one of the projects that he had in the shop was a bike broke in half from like the top tube. We just broke in half, and then they asked. It was an aluminium bike, lah. So they asked him whether he was able to fix it, and like, like the bike was in pieces. Okay, I don't know whether one of the video caught it, but I'll go and check. But the bike was like broken in half, and he was. He had an idea on fixing it and he knew how to fix it. So, it's a good place, I'll recommend it. At least now my bike is fixed, so I don't have to worry about that problem. Highly recommended. We say bye bye to the car. Bye bye car. Bye bye red car. Time to bring this shit home. Fucking give me problems. Stupid, stupid bike. Why you give me so many problems? Why? Why? Okay, but at least he's going home now. Maybe I'm going home now.